Today's video is sponsored by Casetify. Casetify is the world's most popular tech accessory brand and has some of the cutest designs for phone cases. And I love that with Casetify, you never have to give up style for protection. Their impact series uses a new protection technology, EcoShock, that provides 20% more protection and can withstand drops from up to 8.2 feet while maintaining its sleekness. They have been drop tested over a hundred times, but I thought I would perform a little drop test demonstration of my own. Still perfect. Case to five cases are the best solution for everyday protection. Working with over 300 artists around the world, they have a diverse range of over 2000 prints. So there is never a shortage of great designs to choose from or you can customize your case the way you want. The custom case that I made, it says patience. And I have this word on here because patience is something that I strongly lack, but definitely I'm trying to work on. So I just have it on my phone as a little reminder. Hopefully looking at this, I can remember to have some patience. They also have cute and functional accessories like phone charms and phone straps. I have this really cool gold chain wrist strap. as well as the longer phone strap, which you can wear cross bodies, and it is perfect for when you are on the go. I also appreciate Case Defy's dedication to sustainability. With 51,000 cases recycled, and their cases are made up to 65% of recycled material. So if you are looking to upgrade your phone case, be sure to head to casetify.com slash ryan for 15% off your order. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Let me set the scene for you. It's 60 degrees outside cloudy a slight drizzle this morning and we're going thrifting today so it's official i'm officially on the hunt for some trench coats just like long coats i really want to find like a leather faux leather long black basically like this but all the way to my ankles um and then if i can find like a true trench coat like the london fog long khaki colored I think that would be amazing. The funny thing is I used to always find, specifically London Fog, like the long coats. I feel like I haven't seen them lately. So it's like because I actually want one now, I'll never find it. If you like thrifting and thrifting videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We're at Savers today. So let's head on in, Savers Arcadia. Let's head on in and see what all we can find. This jacket is so squeaky. That's okay. The biggest questions of the day is which section do we start out in? Do you have a section that you always, always start at? Or do you just kind of go wherever you feel like? I did go through the kids section really quick. I found this for Hudson, $4.99. Just a cute little zip up jacket. I might start off in jackets today. I think I'll just look through the jackets. That's what we're looking for. Um, and then just see where the wind blows, I guess. This is a cool find. It's from Target. Still has its tags, but I definitely have one that's similar. So I'm gonna leave it. So I just found these two perfect leather jackets. So gorgeous. Unfortunately for me, they are both extra smalls. And yes, you better believe I still tried them on. And um, yeah, they're way too small, but they are gorgeous. So sadly, I will leave them here and continue my search. Wait, I actually love this. It is a double XL, but I love it. 
hold on to this one right now there's like parts that i love and then there's parts where i wish that the sleeves were longer i wish that it was a little bit longer but i'm gonna hold on to it for now because it's, it's fun it's fun so the color of the week is orange it's 50 percent off so far i have not seen any orange tags so fingers crossed because i would love love to find a good deal but now I'm in the women's long sleeve tops. We're gonna go through those long sleeves and sweaters. I think this is an interesting top. I love a button up with a collar, but it has the leather or faux leather details. And only $6.99. This is just an interesting find. There's no name brand. Um, and it's too small for me, but I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. Oh, I do love the look of this sweater. It's really cute. The only thing is I'm looking at these sleeves going, I don't think my arm could fit in there, but a very cute piece, only $3.99. Ah, oh, this is another fun sweater. I love whatever this is going on in the front. Um, it is a size small, so I wish it was like at least a medium. It's $3.49. But I think this would be so cute paired like over a long dress or with a skirt. <laughs> no. I think this would be cuter if it was just like maybe even a large, just like really oversized look. But too short, too small. No. Oh, I actually want to find a sweater like this. I love these crazy fuzzies. But again, like a large or an extra large, really oversized, and then pair it with like a black silky skirt and some boots. Uh, however, this one is a small, so I'm gonna have to leave it behind. Mine's are large, but it's like a little girl's large. So I don't know if it would fit. But you better believe I'm gonna try it on. I don't think it really fits. It's like a little, just a little too small. I like them of owning a piece of their clothing when I was younger. When they came out with their line, I was obsessed with them. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to let little old me down again because I don't think it fits. But wow, that's a hard one to walk away from. Okay, just finished up in the sweaters. It was so hard for me to walk away from the Mary Kate and Ashley sweater. This was the only thing I found in that section. Um, but now I'm in the skirt section. I'm gonna look through some skirts. Would still like to find some midi and mini. Midi and mini skirts. So let's find my size. Oh, 
I found was like three more black skirts, which I do not need more of. So now we're gonna move on to women's pants and then we'll hit up the men's denim. These right here, if you find some, pick them up. They are so comfortable. You feel like you're wearing pajama pants, but you look like you're wearing real pants. They're iconic. This piece says outdoor fishing, but make it fashion. But I actually kind of like it. Okay, the denim section was booked and busy today, so I was too nervous and awkward to pull out my camera, but I did find three pairs of denim. Savers doesn't have a change room and I didn't wear like shorts or anything, but I brought my measuring tape. I measured a pair of jeans that fit me like perfectly. I just put like notches on here and notes of like my thighs, my waist, my hips, so I would kind of know how they would fit throughout. So I'm going to measure these and see if any of them will fit because one of you guys told me this is what you do and I was like, genius idea, what a hack. And then I never threw one in there, but not today. Today I came prepared. Okay, so this vintage pair might be a little tight in my thighs and it's gonna be like an inch shorter than the other denim. But I think they might, I think they might work. Pair number two are some Polo Ralph Lauren's. Let's see, they definitely look more oversized, so we'll see how they measure up. Okay, so these are measuring like an inch and a half uh, bigger on my waist and about an inch larger in the thighs. So I think these will actually fit quite comfortably because the pants that I measured were like exact fit. Um, so these will probably be a little baggy, but it might be like uncomfortable baggy fit. Again, a little bit on the short side, but being 5'9", that's just the life that I live. And the final pair are these white denim Newport News Genealogy Collection. I don't have any white denim, so I thought we could add this to the denim collection. To the Ryan Dar denim collection. These might work again. Again, they're like an inch over, so I'm interested to see how they might actually fit in real life. It will be like another comfortable fit. Ugh. For skiing, they're all measuring 30 inches in length. So they're all, and I like it 32. So they're all like a little too short, but I think we'll have two baggier fits and one that might fit. I don't know. We're trying this method. We'll see if it works. Go check out the men's sweaters. See if we can find some chunky knits and it might be almost done. It's kind of fun. I am happy and sad to report that those gorgeous leather jackets have been picked up. I wish them a happy life. I hope they find a great home. Back in the car, goods in the bag. When I was checking out, they have like self-checkout and the guy across from me, I just have to share the really cool find that he had. He found all of these Life magazines that were like JFK on the cover. They were in amazing condition um, in like a plastic wrapping. They were, it was just like a piece of history. It was really, really cool. So don't be like me. Don't sleep on the book section. <laughs> So I think next time that I go, I'm gonna go check out like the books and I've never thought of this before, but trying to look and find like old fashioned magazines, I think that would be so cool. Finding 
1990s, early 2000s, Vogue or Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone's not a fashion magazine. Elle, Glamour. And just to like look at their ads and the fashion, I, don't know, I think it'd be cool. So he inspired me. So that was really cool. And I sometimes get so focused in on just like clothes and looking for fun clothes that I forget that there's like other cool stuff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I need coffee. Let's go get some coffee and then, um, and then we'll go do this haul. She acts like she's all sleepy and then the haul starts. She wants to be a part of it. We're back. Okay, home for the haul. There she is. I told you, as soon as the haul starts, she is curious. What did we bring home? Okay, home with the haul, another great day. I had a coupon today for 20% off. That's one of the things I love about Savers is that they have their Super Savers Club. So you get coupons and points um, every time you shop. So I had a 20% off coupon, which goes a long way. So first up is this denim duster jacket in august i went to the pickwick vintage market and while i was there i kept seeing all of these denim dusters like long coats of denim and i was like "Ooh, i want one of those and i so it would have it i found one today it is a double xl definitely looks like a vintage tag i love jackets i think they add so many elements to an outfit i have a lot of denim jackets that i haven't been wearing lately but i feel like this is a great way to bring back my denim and i love it i think it's such a great find you like it too <laughs> i also found another piece from mr hudson i love how it looks like a layered vest over his zip cardigan we got it for $4.99 and he is gonna look so stinking adorable in it oh my gosh okay so i tried this on in the store as a joke i thought it was funny making my fisherman outdoorsman vest fashion but then i tried it on and i'm kind of into it you know like cargo pants are a thing going on now the big pockets the bulkiness and I was like, uh-oh, I think I actually like this. <laughs> so I think it's, you know, that's what fashion is. You ever see the streets of New York, their fashion? I feel like that's what they do. They take things that don't belong together, but somehow make it work. So that's what we're going to do with this vest. And we're going to pair it maybe with cargos and just be a bulky mess or denim or I loved it with the trousers. I don't know. I'm here for it. It's our outdoorsman, fisherman i really wanted to find sweaters today it is cold outside that really inspires me to look for chunky knits and all kinds of cozy sweaters but i didn't really find any however i did find this piece but like these button-up shirts with collars have definitely been a trend that i've been seeing and i really like the look of it it's very sophisticated but can be casual the touches of the faux leather also makes this piece fun so I think easily paired with trousers or denim for an upgrade on your denim. And I got it for 20% off $6.99. Denim. So I ended up just grabbing two because I don't know if my wild method is going to work or not. So I didn't want to go buying three pairs of jeans. I grabbed the Gitano jeanswear. It's made for real people. That is their slogan. Okay, so that totally worked. That is what I'm going to do from now on. Thank you for telling me about this hack. I'm not really into like, like tapered at the ankle. So what I've been doing for that is just cutting them on each side right here. You can do like an inch or two and then it helps them flare out. So then whenever you wear your shoes, they just flare over your shoes. And I just personally prefer that. So that's what I'll do with these. I'm so excited. I also grabbed the Polo. Ralph Lauren jeans, a little bit of a lighter wash. Um, these potentially are gonna fit a little bit baggier. I love having a variety. I like to have a baggy fit, a fit fit, and like a comfortable fit. These were the priciest ones. They were $20.49, but 
I had 20% off coupon. Not that bad for some Ralph Lauren jeans. That was the thrift trip. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I'm going to style these pieces and other outfit inspo. Don't forget to subscribe. It really supports my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.